linear models now before we start um, you need to remember this equation y is equal to mx plus c where m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept so on a graph it would look like this this equation of a straight line c that's the y-intercept there the x-coordinate of that is always zero the y-coordinate is c and the gradient how steep the slope is is m so you should have some knowledge of this and you'll be able to mash all these linear model questions Let's go. so i think i will do three videos on this in this video i'll just focus on identifying the m and the c in the next video i'll look at how they use the gradients and in the next video i would look at maybe questions where they give you a situation and ask you to identify the linear model so those are the three popular ways sat tests linear models let me get into it average number of students per classroom at central high school from 2000 to 2010 can be modeled using this equation where x represents the number of years so x is the number of years so see as see that on the x-axis one time yes time um, since 2000 and y represents the average number of students in the classroom so y see that on the y-axis vertical that's the number of students so maybe it's going up because 0 0.5 this is it so if this gradient is positive i'm expecting a slope like this like 0 0.56 is the slope you all see that and this is the first the initial year so maybe 2000 and it's going on year by year like this and this one is that's what's going on in my mind right now this one is 27.2 so be mentally prepared for questions like this watch watch what they ask at the ending which of the following best describes the meaning the meaning of the number 0 0.56 that's the gradient that's how much this number is switching by each year so it has nothing to do with the total number of students at the school there's nothing to do with the average number the estimated increase per year per year in average number of students per classroom each year that's sounding good let's check the last one the estimated difference between the average this is crazy talk so it's this one anytime you realize that it's the gradients that is the increase per year or increase per change in x change in y change in x next question pause the video read the question see if you can do it cat is a repair technician for a phone company each week she receives a batch of phone repairs the number of phones that she this is so familiar has left to fix at the end of each day can be estimated as p is equal to 108 minus 23 d d is the days d is the number of days p is the number of phones 108 is how much it started off with notice the gradient is negative so i'm seeing in my mind immediately something like this started off with sorry 108 phones there you all seen that with me and we're going on 23 23 23 23 23 each day like that so let's see what they ask what is the meaning of the value 108 108 is how much it started at so let's see who's going to say that we'll complete the repairs no Cathy starts each week that's sounding good he's sounding good Cat repairs phones at a rate no rate is gradient rate is gradient repairs phones no rate is gradient so has to be has to be b y'all catch any hang of this last sat example on this topic and it's raining very heavy in shogona trinidad here so i hope it's not sounding in the video in air the speed of sound s in meters per second is a linear function of the air temperature t in degrees celsius and it's given by okay it's a it's like a function look this time the speed in relation to temperature is equal to this is like f of x is equal to 0 0.6 t plus all right so what what is saying here uh the speed of sound starts at 331.4 which of the following statements is the best interpretation of the 331.4 in this context that's the first value so you see the c is always the y intercept the initial value the starting value maybe time was zero at that maybe temperature is zero in this case yes no I can record it, I'll tell you right now. I'll call it back in like five seconds. Um, that was my wife, so I had to take that call. 
is the starting value the speed of sound in meters per second at zero degrees celsius that sounds really good to me the speed of sound in meters per where they get that 0 0.6 from nah the increase in speed of sound no increase that rate vibe that's that into some gradientish to me and that's not a gradient that's an intercept nope 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 so the best answer is the only answer is a so in the next video i will take a look at this question and we will see what is being tested in linear models here in the meanwhile be one of the 20 percent of people that press like on the video and don't forget to subscribe let me know in the comments what other sat topics you want me to do just like this and explain just like this love and bless you. I should see more people.